Matthew 23 is Jesus' confrontation against the leaders of Israel. He sets the record straight. Then Jesus spoke to the mother too and the disciples. He said, let me tell y'all something about these folk that represent Moses in his position. He said, they're going to talk a good game. He said, but watch them. They say one thing and they do another one. He said, I'm telling you right now, observe the good that they say and do that, but don't act like them because they are nothing like my word. Thousand dollar line, hundred dollar line, ten dollar line. And they don't say, give it as unto the Lord. He said, but that's not me. Now, this is what the church is doing now. It's all about the pastor appreciates birthday. And then the church members are filing bankrupt say, then I'm not done. Jesus said then you got special clothes you got to wear. You got to set yourself apart. Not your spirit, but your outside. Then you got a special seat for you and the first lady. Everybody else get back. Jesus said you love name titles in public. Don't do that. Jesus says stop that title calling. He said I'm the only somebody got the title. I'm Christ. All of you are brothers. He said, don't call anybody father, not your biological father. He said, don't wait on somebody, a human, to tell you what you can and can't do. He said, throw those titles away. There's too many titles in the church. Do your job without wanting somebody to recognize you. If you want to be great, simply serve. That's all I ask you to do. Serve. Woe means grief. Grief to teachers who won't teach God's word. Grief to those who make up religious rules. Grief to hypocrites. Grief to those who lock up God's laws. Jesus said, woe to the hypocrite, the Pharisees, and those teachers who claim they teach his word, and you will fly, go by bus, and even travel water on a defined people and make them twice ready to go to hell. Jesus said, you pick and choose scripture, and you are blind. You say this is wrong or that is wrong, emphasizing certain scripture is dead the teaching. You don't emphasize all of God's word, but you do say, pay your tithes or go to hell. Jesus shows us if we are fools. If we are being led by the blind, we are being led by fools. A fool will not teach the entire word. He will be selective. Jesus said, teach everything. Eat every word of God. Anything else is deadly. This is what this means. Jesus gave us a warning. Do not separate what God made from who God is. Read everything. Jesus said more is taught about money in the church than about justice, mercy, and faith. Money is a light thing with God. It's a gnat compared to the swallowed camel of sin. When we pretend to know God, we are more deadly than a person who says he doesn't exist. Without the right teaching, we are like a cup that's not fit to drink from. Clean on the outside, but dirty on the inside. We're like a graveyard. Pretty on the outside, but full of dead men's bones. We're like a man that looks the part, but inside he is a waving wolf. Jesus said, woe unto you. You kill the prophet, and then you build a beautiful tomb. Then say, had I been back in the day, I never would have been a part of this. Boo hoo hoo. But at least you acknowledge that they are your ancestors. You are the children of those who killed. Finish the job. Fill up the blood. Keep what your ancestors started. You generation of snakes who refuse to teach my word. 
I'm going to send you prophets. I'm going to send wise men. And I'm going to send scribes to you. And when I send them to you, you are going to kill some of those guys. You are even going to crucify some of them. And you're going to go into your synagogue. In the synagogue, the place where you have your meetings. And you are going to beat these men. All because of the truth that you will be confronted about. And then you will persecute them from city to city. You will pay the price of the blood that was shed from Abel to Zechariah and all those lives you took in between. And I promise you that everything I just told you will happen. Oh, leaders, all I wanted was to gather you like a hen gathers a chicken and just love you and nourish you. Religion, I say to you this day, you will be desolate and empty house. Religion will never have any power. The next time you will see me, you will be saying, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.